are the top qualities of a successful chef. Today we talk about it coming right up. What's cooking guys? Marcel here again from Slamming It Out. Thank you for watching this video. I'm a professional chef and author and my channel is for all who want to become a professional chef and make career abroad. And if you are new here, then please consider to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. So what are the three top qualities you definitely need to have as a chef? In my opinion, is number one, passion. Number two is stamina and number three is leadership. Passion is the quality number one you definitely must have. I think that goes without question. If you don't have a passion for food, then what the hell are you doing in the kitchen? Uh, you better find something else. So there should be an interest in food and cooking or in the restaurant business. And I was a young boy not even 10 years old. I was already interested in cooking. I spent time with my mom in the kitchen. I wrote down recipes in my little recipe book. So there was a passion already for food. So a few years later, when I was 15, I had the opportunity to work in a professional hotel kitchen. That was actually a trial run. That was just for me to see if I like the kitchen, for me to see what's going on inside the professional hotel kitchen, how are the chefs doing, how do they behave, how do they talk and all this kind of stuff. So after two weeks I finished this little a traineeship or whatever you want to call it. There was no salary involved, nothing. We worked I think six or eight hours a day and at the end of the two weeks me and my buddy re re uh, received a big fat uh, bowl of ice cream. That was it. That was I think in 1992. And I definitely was still interested to become a chef. So there was a passion there. So the second quality of a successful chef is stamina and I am not only talking about physical stamina, I mean this is obvious because you are standing the whole day, you are working in a hot environment and you uh, change frequently from very hot environments to, to very cold environments because if you need to go inside the walk-in chiller and pick something up or even inside the, inside the deep freezer then it's, it's hot and cold, you know, it's, it's physically demanding, it's a physically demanding job. But I'm talking also about the mental stamina you have to have and also to develop because the chef job is a, is a mental job. Uh, man, many things happen uh, inside here. Yeah, the job is tough, your colleagues can be tough, you know, your boss uh, can be an asshole, you can be bullied around. This is all what happened to me and it happened to so many people. You know, then long working days, 10, 12 hours, then no off day, you know, it's straining, you know, it's physically straining and psychologically very straining. So be aware of this and develop great stamina. You will need it. Only the toughest people actually make career in the kitchen. You have to be mentally tough and physically tough. So what I do is I go to the gym on a regular basis. I keep my body fit. I also watch my diet. I live very healthy. I read good books, you know. So this is how I take care of myself, how I take care of my physical stamina as well as my mental stamina. And the third quality of a good cook and great chef are leadership skills and abilities. This is what you definitely need to develop when you want to become a chef, executive chef, when you want to make a career in the kitchen. Kitchen is a team sport. You work with people, you work with human beings, and it's therefore very important that you develop leadership skills. If you just want to stay a normal small cook uh, in the kitchen, then probably you don't need to develop a leadership skills so much. But if you want to make a career, if you want to grow, if you want to lead teams, if you want to take more and more responsibility, you definitely have to work on your leadership skills. So leadership skills are very crucial. This topic of leadership skills actually deserves another video and I will definitely shoot one in the future. This is a vast topic. There is so much to talk about and I also dedicate a significant amount of time to develop my leadership skills. I have been developing my leadership skills because I am a leader and I'm running professional kitchens and I, I am in charge of uh, dozens of people. 
I develop my leadership skills. It is an ongoing process. It's not just that you are sitting in a classroom for 60 minutes or watch a YouTube video here and there. That definitely will help to improve your leadership abilities. But leadership to improve your leadership abilities, you have constantly train and develop, read books and practice it on the spot and on the floor. So that's it for today, guys. I was talking about in my opinion the three most important qualities a good cook and chef need to have this is passion stamina and leadership skills if you have questions or need any other advice please let me know in the comment sections i'm happy to answer any kind of questions and of course i highly recommend my book which i have written slamming it out how i got shit done in five star kitchens what tv chefs don't tell you in this book you can find tons of useful tips, tricks and other tools. If you want to become a chef, if you are serious about it, you can find plenty of advice in this book. It's available on Amazon and Kindle for purchase. And uh, yeah, go check it out. Okay, this is Marcel from Slamming It Out signing off for today. I'm wishing you a great week ahead. And don't forget, always keep slamming it out. Bye bye.